Hello again, this is Jennifer Waymark, archivist for the Oshawa Community Museum. Thank you for joining me once again for this monthly podcast. This summer marks an important date in a story that I have been sharing with our community. On August 30th, 100 years ago, William Garrow enlisted with the Canadian Overseas Expeditionary Force and began a journey that would see his life ended just nine months later. A great deal of information can be learned from the attestation papers completed by Garrow upon his enlistment. We learn that he was named after his father and, in turn, named his father his next of kin. The form also tells us that he worked as an upholsterer prior to enlisting. The 1901 census notes that his father worked as a carriage laborer, so it is possible that Garrow worked as an upholsterer at one of the carriage companies here in Oshawa. At this time, this is simply a guess, but at least it is an educated guess. The form also provides us with a better idea of what Garrow looked like. There are a few remaining photographs of him, and only one that is from just prior to his enlistment. So this can help us to better understand what this man looked like. According to the form, Garrow was not overly tall, just five foot, five and a quarter inches. We know that he had brown hair with blue eyes, something that could not be deciphered from the photographs of him. We also learn that Garrow enlisted in Montreal. It is unclear as to why he traveled to Montreal to enlist, as he ended up with the Princess Pat's Canadian Light Infantry and not with the Royal Montreal Regiment. Perhaps enlisting in Montreal put him that much closer to heading overseas. My research on the life of William Garrow is ongoing, and hopefully one day I will be able to uncover the answers to all of these questions.